enter the conflict, to understand what it is to be in Christ, to be his church. You need this context, but you also must come to understand that you will live in the midst of conflict, a war, no less. I ask you this morning, are you ready to go to church with Jesus? Let's walk through this conflict. I ask you, friends, what do you do in the face of injustice? Especially if it's injustice in Christ's name or in Christ's house or amongst those who claim to be Christ's people. Desmond Tutu said, If you are neutral in situations of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. To do nothing is to choose something, and it is sin. Erwin McManus wrote a book that I highly recommend. It's a small work, about 110 pages. It is entitled The Barbarian Way. And from the first chapter, I'd like to read you a few excerpts that draws us to a Christ-likeness that is from John 2. Let me tell you, friends, Jesus is every bit as godly here in the temple as he was hanging on the cross. Now, I want you to chew on that for a little bit. Jesus is every bit as godly and loving in the temple, which, by the way, he does twice at the beginning and the end of his ministry, like bookends to make a point. Jesus is every bit as godly and loving in the temple as he is on the cross. Are you ready for that? Erwin McManus, in his book entitled The Barbarian Way, making the point that the professing church is not proclaiming Christ in its milk toast, mamby, pamby, can't we all just get along, love affair with culture that is a lie. This is the simplicity of the barbarian way. If you are a follower of Christ, then you are called at the cost of everything you are and everything you have to fight for the heart of your king. It is a fight fought with the unconventional weapons of faith, hope, and love while fueled by passion, a passion for God and a passion for people. The barbarian way is about love, intimacy, passion, and sacrifice. Barbarians love to live and live to love. For them, God is life. And their mission is to reconnect humanity to him. Friends, I ask you, are you able to embrace the war that is worship? For you to worship our king is to put you in the midst, on the front lines of a very real war that is raging. And as Jesus shows us here in John 2, and you will see if you open your eyes, the same thing is happening in countless numbers of cultural, lukewarm churches in our country today. I plead with you, get to know the Jesus of the Bible. When you claim to be or desire to be Christ-like, you must be like the Bible's Jesus and not the fabled, lukewarm, mamby-pamby Jesus that gets portrayed in our culture. Why? Because he's so easy to disregard and disrespect once you drain his deity out of him. That's why.